real life street stars. We got the fire spitter right now, Miss <laughs> Erica Banks in the building. What it do? Hello, what's going on? Man, uh, usually we do introductions and all that bullshit, but they already know who the flow queen is in the motherfucking city, man. You know what I'm saying? I don't have hey, to be introduced. Not I don't no need more, an man. intro. Erica, Erica motherfucking Banks in the building. Before we get on the bullshit, though. Yeah. Man, you been on fire, man. I've been trying to do a little man. song. <laughs> man, just drop the new visual. I heard you dropped it yet, Bust It. Yes, Bust It is out. That is my single right now. Go get that if you haven't already. Video coming soon. Man, say, um, tell us how you came up with that, because I seen a little sneak preview of the video, and I was... Uh, I was ten, I was uh, tantalized. It was so tantalizing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, little eye candy in that. But a little bit. I, and then, but the sample, yeah. like, the beat is so throw. Tell me, what was the process? How did that song come to life? Um, Bust it. So, shout out to Sergeant J. He produced that. Um, he was just, you know, sending me beats. He always sent me beats. And I listened to that one, and I'm like, I like this sample on here. And, you know, I had never done a sample before. So I go record it, it's just another day in the studio. At the time I was sick, so I didn't really like how I sounded on the song. So I was like, you know what, I'm not gonna even put a second verse on this, I don't really like this. But I'm, you know, letting my friends here, letting my family here, they're like, oh, you tripping, like you need to put a second verse on this. So I put a second verse on it, put it out, and now it's going crazy. So that's how we did bust it. Okay, so I, I, I got the preliminary out the way, the preliminary, now we die right. So now you done busted us, you done bust the world with the <laughs> Miss E. You know what I'm saying? Now, yes. now, now I'm, I, I, I'm biased. I'm an Erica Banks fan. Okay, we love so, to see it. We yeah, love to man, see it. Yeah, man, so I didn't even hear the song. I didn't even hear her, the, 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 what started it. Right. All I just heard was your song. And I was like, shit, she already won. I didn't. <laughs> so... How did the, what was the beginning of it? But I didn't know what the nature of how it all started. Right. So give us a little background story, if you might, if you could. Oh, of course. I'm going to give you the clear story at that. So how this started was, it started with a blog post. And they posted her video, one of her music videos. And the caption said, you know, is she the hardest in Dallas, whatever. So me just commenting like anybody else on Instagram on a blog post. I comment and I say, you know, she's fire but I'm the hardest. You know, a little friendly competition, whatever. So I didn't mean anything by it. I'm just stating my comment, as anybody else would do. So she comes back and she comments and she says, uh, something like, relax, I like your confidence though. And I'm like, oh, all right. <laughs> I ain't know, like that, cool. So I come in back and I put the laughing faces because it's funny to me. And I'm like, well, girl, I was complimenting you, you know, but okay. And then she comes back and says, well, you didn't have to put that at the end. Uh, if you got a problem with somebody saying they better than you in this industry, maybe you need to pick another profession. <laughs> it's friendly competition at the end of the day. So after that, I didn't respond. You know, that was it. I didn't say nothing else. I'm like, okay, whatever. So the next day, you know, Instagram notifies you if somebody else comments on the same post you commented on, correct? So Instagram notifies me that she's still commenting on this post. You know, so I didn't see it till a day later though. So she came back and commented after we were done talking and she was like, she aight. And I'm like, okay, so you clearly in your feelings, you heard about it, whatever. So that's what sparked it. And um, the next day, of course, the blog, see the comments, they being messy, they posting them, whatever. And um, I'm like, okay, well, I'm about to use this as a marketing tool. You know, I'm all about marketing. So I'm like, my name all in the blogs, I'm about to drop a freestyle, you know? And if you go to my page, you can see that I got them all over my page. So when you listen to the freestyle, you won't think I'm talking about her because I wasn't. And she even said in her interview, if you listen to it, you won't think she's talking about me because I'm not, baby. Anyway, you know, I don't care about you that much. So anyway, one of the blogs posted the video of my freestyle and the caption said, Erica Banks comes from Miss G, yada, yada, yada. And I said, ah, oh, here we go, being messy. So I commented on the blog post and I said, stop being messy. This is just me dropping another freestyle, you know, because my name in the, in the blogs, I'm about to, you know. So that's what that was about. Wasn't even about this little girl. So then all the other blogs start posting it with the same caption, Erica Banks coming from Miss G, Erica Banks. So I'm like, okay, fuck it. I'm not about to just go up under every single post and say, take this down. I'm finna entertain it at this point. Fuck it. I ain't scared of nothing. <laughs> So shit, you know, 
the blog started, you know, continuing to be messy, carrying it on. So then I say, well, since this turned into this, I'm going to give you, Miss G, a day of opportunity to respond since that's what the media has turned it into. Because I'm like, I'm not about to entertain this BS anyway, but since y'all done turned it into some mess, why not? So I get on Instagram and I'm like, yo, on my story, I'm like, you know, you got a day to respond. If you don't, it's dead. You know, I'm not interested, whatever. All day, nothing, no response, nothing, nada, zilch. Next day, later that day, she dropped some little freestyle, you know, responding to me. At this point, I'm like, okay, well, it's dead. Like I said, it's been a day. I'm not responding to you, whatever. So I let her do her thing, you know. Of course, she got people tagging me. She tagging me, just, you know, harassing me like a fly at this point. You know how a fly get on your nerves, like won't move out the way? That's what it felt like. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, you know, I'm like, I'm going to let her do a thing, whatever. I'm not responding to this girl. A week go by. And then I'm in the studio one day. Somebody calls me, a number I don't know. I'm like, oh, I'll get back to them in a minute. If they want some, they'll text me. So anyway, the person texts me. And I was like, yo, I'm trying to get a feature. I got the money, whatever. This is how desperate this girl was to get to me. So they FaceTime me. I answer. It's her strong face that is. Uh, what you want, huh? What you want? What you want? Some money. I'm in the studio. You calling me in the studio while I'm doing paid features, baby. I'm busy. I get back to you when I got time. I'm busy, sir. Click. <laughs> and so, you know, if you watch her little this video at the end, you know, it's a clip of me saying, girl, bye. You know, that's where she got that from. I'm like, I'm making money, baby. I know you wouldn't understand, but I'm busy, baby. Call you back later. So that's just, you know, the beginning. If y'all have more questions, then, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll go into that. So I'm just let y'all talk now because I feel like I've talked a lot. <laughs> you are good. You are good. So, you know, what, what the people see, what the people know, what's going viral right now is Miss E. Right. Um, which you say is available on iTunes. Yes, ma'am. Go get um, that. So what, like, what inspired that video, how you shot it, that whole, whole situation? Oh, I mean, it was just on some... I mean, shit, if I'm gonna do the song, I'm gonna do the video, let's just do something simple. It ain't gotta be nothing crazy. Meet up at the shop. Um, shit, I'm gonna stand in front of the pool table and we just gonna do it just to, you know, put it out there. It really wasn't no thought put into it. Um, it was just something that we put together just to have the video um, with the song. But that's pretty much how the video came about. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> so there was two lines that uh, just really stuck out. Yeah, go ahead. So, do you really know her granddaddy? Cause that shit. <laughs> 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 okay. I was like, nah. But the one that just killed me the most was uh, is you a uh, is you a lady or is you a dyke, bitch? <laughs> confusing the kids and the people. Yeah, see why you know the words to that. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, sir, yes, sir. Cause uh, you ain't even gotta talk. I'm, I'm gonna answer it. So. I'm confused my damn self because you got a video of her doing some interview talking about she's not a dyke, she wear dresses, she's a lady, yada, yada, yada. But then we look at you and it's like, okay, you know, you got to you gotta pick a side, you know what I'm saying? So uh, that's where that came from. You confusing I, the people and the little kids running around. They don't know what that is. You, come on now. No, the reason I asked because she mentioned that she was trying to take a shot at the LGBT community. Oh, no, 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 no. See, let me clear it up. No, that was specifically towards her in particular, personally, straightforward. You know, there was nothing towards, you know, the community. So let's not even, let's not even get that confused. So um, due to the hype of your Miss E video, there was an additional response to that video. Mm -hmm. um, what are your feelings on the concept of that particular video? Oh, baby, I love the concept. I love it. Because you notice she was dressed like Miss Erica Banks. That wig, yeah, that wig. That wig uh, was very dry, <laughs> very synthetic. We could have been a, we could have did a better wig now. Don't disrespect me like that. <laughs> we we could have did some, some real deep wave, you know, but hey, to each his own. Okay, hold on, before you keep going, how in the middle of the pandemic, in the quarantine, in the lockdown, do you have a fresh set of nails? Well, you know what? I actually <laughs> How you know these fresh? Because I got them done last yeah, week. Oh, okay. Because I know, I know when I can see when a person needs a feel. I'm, 
I'm that type of nigga. You did say that last time about the field. Uh, I said, how you know? Okay, yeah. So the nail shop was open last week before they closed, and I bet. just ran up in there. Just slid up in there. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. So will there be a, another response? There will be no more responses. Um, Erica Banks is done responding. Um, I really didn't even have to do what I did. No, you know you what didn't. I say? I really didn't even have to do that because at the end of the day, the following, the numbers, mm. the streams, the everything, you know what I'm saying? And just to let y'all in on a little insight, you know, surprise, hello. So I had a artist, not gonna say who, this is a big artist. This artist got over a million followers. This artist is verified on Instagram. This artist DM me and said, she was trying, Miss G, she was trying to beef with me way back in the day. And you know, she always on some, on some lame ass shit, on some hating ass shit. And this person wanted to fight. Miss G didn't want to fight. And I'm like, damn, really? So this is some shit she do all the time. The artist was like, yeah, she always on some whack ass shit. And you know, the artist also said that she just mad because you know, her career isn't going anywhere. And I'm just looking at the messages like, damn. Okay, so I'm not the only one that you picking at, you know what I'm saying? And she's wanting to make it seem like she's the victim, you know, I was the one who started it. No, it started with me commenting and you taking it to heart because you know what I said was true. Let's keep it a thousand. Then, not only that, she mentioned in her, um, the, the song you just mentioned, her second dish, she said something like, I didn't show up to the club or I was scared to come in. But then in a separate interview, Baby said, I showed up late to the club. So did I come to the club or did I show up late to the club? You lying. I came to the club and you, you got I was there, there early. Huh? Maybe you got there early and she just missed you. Nah, nah, she ain't miss me. <laughs> she ain't miss me. She ain't miss me. Let me tell you how I know she ain't miss me. She ain't miss me because when I came in there, it wasn't too long. It was probably about 20, 30 minutes into me being there. Matter of fact, it's a video on my page and me and my section, you know, turning up or whatever. But anyway, she, you know, trolleys to the DJ booth begs him, bugging him to play this weak ass diss in the club that deaded the whole club. And even one of my homegirls was like, why is she the only one lit in this hole? Cause we could see her, you know, from, from where we was at, cause we up top. And we all laughing and having a good time cause it's like, you look dumb. You know what I'm saying? And all facts, you know, the DJ was clowning her. The DJ in my messages, who, who is Miss G? She begging me to play her song. I'm like, well, damn. You know, I'm not gonna be messy in name called DJ, but the DJ know who he is and so does she, cause she was begging him to play that shit in the club. Uh, so let's be clear, I did come to the club. Did not see you step foot in my section, cause she was broadcasting. I'ma I'm step in her section, I'ma do this, I'ma do that. Well, we didn't see you, baby boo. We didn't see you. So, you know, just had to clear that up. Now go ahead, I'm sorry. I have you. a side question. Is it, would it be hard to fight with nails that long? It would be, and you would never catch me fighting. Okay. You would never, you know because how much these cost? Because you're such a lady. You're such a lady. Thank you. I, I, I commend you. Appreciate that, appreciate that. Uh, well, a lady you are, you know what I'm saying? And uh, we love how you've handled things with such class and grace and whatnot. So um, we're going we gonna to change up the subject a little bit. So you know the big thing that's going around now is the COVID-19, the corona. Yeah. Um, how has your quarantine thus far? Have you been quarantining? I've been trying to. <laughs> I've been trying to stay in the house. <laughs> I've been trying. It's a struggle. It's a real struggle now that I'm having to really do this. Yes. Well, you know, a lot of um, we see on social media, like a lot of female artists, a lot of girls now during this time of shutdown have um, reverted to, not reverted, but uh, decided to start OnlyFans accounts. Will yeah. we find Erica Banks slash OnlyFans? Woo, account? no ma'am, no ma'am. Let's not even put that in our heads. Um, nah, we would not see Ms. Banks on the uh, OnlyFans. Uh, great money is being made on there though. Great money. <laughs> Great money. I'm talking 10 bands, 20 bands. Good money's been made on there. But yeah, you won't catch me on there now. Mm -mm. Does Erica Banks have a quarantine bay? A quarantine bank? Bay. Bay? Erica Banks is dating. Okay. Yeah, I'm dating. <laughs> <laughs> does, Erica bay, does Erica Banks date men? Ladies? Both? Like what? The inquiring minds? You know what? what? I like both. I like to, you know, Zipline's album. So, like so if like, you know, for like a fly lady came up and was like, yeah, shit, you know, you should let me take you get something to eat. What's up? Like, it <laughs> don't do her. <laughs> don't be 
a hater. <laughs> it, I'm asking for the ladies. <laughs> I'm asking for the ladies. <laughs> if if I find this this lady attractive, yes. Now it can't just be just any old, you know. But if I find her attractive, yes. Which is only right that you find that person attractive. Right, because some people like to say, oh, it's not all about looks. It's it is. about looks. It's not all Well, not looks, all about looks. But it is but about it, looks. It definitely does It is matter. about looks. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, fuck all that. <laughs> <laughs> so we got the visual. We got Busted right out, coming out. We got the visual coming out. What yeah. else are we working on? We are now working on the EP, um, which is now pushed back because of the virus. Um, right. So we're working on the EP, we're working on the busted video, we're working on videos for the EP. Um, you know, of course, with that'll come shows and all the yeah. other events. I had college events set up, you know, but everything yeah, I, is Because I was going to say, I know you can't, you can't do any traveling, so h how has this affected, like, your plans for the year? Um, it's really just putting it on a temporary pause. I'm not going to say that it's just ruining my life because it's not... Um, in a good sense, it's kind of giving me a lot of time to do a lot of other things, being that I can't really do what I want to do. So now I'm having to find, you know, other things to do mm. within my music. Um, but it's not just really putting a hold on too much. Have, so. you, have you started a TikTok? Actually, no. And I just said today, I said I need to get on there because it's so funny. And I'm laughing at somebody's TikTok every day, but I don't know how to use it. That's the only reason I haven't mm. um, tapped into TikTok. But yeah, I definitely need to get on there because it's very entertaining. So... So Trump say he about to give all, all of us $1,200. What's your plan for your $1,200? What you going to do? That's a good, that's a good question because $1,200, to keep it real, it really ain't a lot of money. It ain't shit, bro. So it, it, it ain't really, yeah, but um, if I'm going to just chill at the house with it, then, I mean, a lot is going to go to going out, you know, well, out to eat, rather. Mm -hmm. Um, well, if we're getting it right now, we can't go out to eat, but we can order some food. Right. Um, <laughs> I'll order me a wig. I don't know some clothes, some fashion over, you know, I'm gonna just get what I can for right now because it look like we ain't going nowhere, so. Now, last time you were here, uh, I asked you about your workout regimen. Mm. And you said, uh, I don't have one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, has that changed in uh, 2020? No. <laughs> uh. <laughs> no, um, I have not been to anybody's gym since I last saw y'all. Um, I think I look pretty good though. I don't think. No, you fine. I don't think I'm fat or nothing. I don't think I'm. I don't know. I do be out of breath after a little bit though, but maybe this. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's cool. Okay. <laughs> so we, I'm not the only one. I don't feel so bad. What do you have you since you've been? We've been on lockdown. What are some things that you found yourself eating that you would never eat at all? Um, I haven't reached that point yet. Cause I've been eating out every day. If my mama don't cook, I order me something from Uber Eats. So I haven't got to the point to where I'm eating stuff that I wouldn't normally eat just yet. Speaking of your mom, how close of a relationship do y'all have and how involved is she in you as far as your music career? Oh, we, we like these. We like white on rice, girl. And you know, we'd probably be home girls if she wasn't my mama. But, uh, She's very involved. Um, she does everything on the business side, everything behind the scenes, because I don't be trying to do none of that. I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to see no business or nothing. I just want to rap. So everything outside of rap, she does for me, and uh, that's how we get everything done. That's beautiful. That's wonderful. <laughs> now, that's cool. Yeah. But we've seen past in the past this year, we have Megan. Mm -hmm. She was involved in a couple of deals and um, things are going on with her, her owning her own music and having a large percentage of her rights being taken away and things of that nature. What are some things you've done to combat something like that so it doesn't happen to Erica Banks? Um, well, of course, <laughs> with mama in my ear, um, I cannot make any wrong decision, first of all. Amen. Yeah, she has shut down so many about to sign situations is crazy. Um, but I definitely um, took heed from the Megan situation and it just makes me want to be a lot more careful, you know, when it comes to signing anything. Cause you know, at one point I was about to sign my life away, hadn't read nothing until she said, hold on before you get on that plane. And I didn't go. So, you know, luckily, but um, yeah, it definitely encourages me just to be careful and be mindful, you know. Man, uh, would you, do you think a deal is the best thing for you now as an artist where the game is just, it has been structured to be just, if it's better if you just be independent? Um, 
I don't think a deal is the best situation. I think today, you know, in 2020, I feel like being independent is better. Um, you don't have to worry about anybody dipping into your money, telling you how to do things, how not to do things. Because with me, I don't take authority well. I don't like being told what to do, especially when it comes to my music. So I would love to stay independent. You know, that's what I plan on. I hope one of these singles jump out the roof and, you know, take me out of here. But um, I definitely think independent is a better choice. And last but not least, if you could take one thing from the three months that you've, we've experienced in this 2020 and learn from it, what would it be? Um, stay consistent, for sure, because I've still done that and I've you know, reached a higher level than I was last time I saw you guys. Um, two, be patient, because uh, at one point I was feeling like, why is this not working? Why am I not where I want to be? And it's like, well, Erica doesn't happen overnight. Um, and three would just be to um, believe in yourself. You know, because we all have our days where we're like, okay, is this really for me? Am I supposed to be doing something else? But it's like, as long as you believe in yourself and you know, you have that in your head, you know, you can pretty much do whatever you want to do. Positivity, I like that. Yeah. I love that. All those things. All those things. Yeah, I'm um, not negative all the time. I, and I wanna, <laughs> and speaking of negative, be, negativity, because there has been some negative, like, tension between you and a fellow female artist, um, could you name three other female artists from Dallas that you would want to work with? Um, and Channing. Well, we worked together before, but I would love to work with her again. I love Enchanting so much. She's so sweet. Um, and Channing, because, I mean, it's not that really, I mean, it's not that many female artists out here, at least that I know of. Um, Yikes. Enchanting, yeah. I can't even lie to you and just draw names to other people because I'd be lying to you, you know. So I'm going to just say Enchanting. Enchanting. Yeah. Erica Banks won another, another record. Okay, you listening. Send me that. Well, for those who don't know how to get in contact with you, who don't already follow you, who not already <laughs> hip on what's going on, give me your social medias. Um, you can find me on Instagram at Real Erica Banks. All of my music on all platforms is under Erica Banks. One more thing before we get out of here, I just need to clear something up real quick. Erica Banks writes all of her own music, okay? Let's not play with me like that and let's not play with my name like that. Another thing, you cannot copyright lyrics or publish lyrics that you have not wrote and all of my music is copywritten. So now that that's clear, that's the end of this interview. Thank you guys for having me. Go check out my music, go get my single, Bust It. And uh, that's about it. <laughs> right then. Well, we thank you for coming in the middle of the pandemic. Uh, we love everything you do. We love all your work. You are a real life street star. Thank you. All right. <laughs>